Hi, I'm Ralph Sansarulo. And I'm Vicki Sansarulo from Archer's Choice. And you know, for years we've been bearing down all over Canada. Yes, and one of our favorite spots is Ken Gangler's Canadian Mani Subarctic. Manitoba Monsters. Why? Because he just has unbelievable bear hunting. <laughs> Literally thousands upon thousands of acres, really, that, that are unaccessible, except by right. Ken. He's flying only. He's 200 miles to the closest road. So that tells you just alone why. And, you know, to, to have a better understanding, why are we, why is Ken so successful in taking big old mature bears? And that is, that's the reason. Because he keeps it the remoteness. Right. That he's able to get the age structure and the age structure, you know, brings in the big old bears with those big melon big, heads. Those big old bucket heads. But the other thing too, is that even though he is so remote, he has a beautiful lodge, beautiful <laughs> facilities, tent camps are awesome. And I mean, you're treated well. It's almost like a five-star lodge in the middle of nowhere. You're right. So if you're looking for the bear hunt of a lifetime, or the one bigger than Ralph's, Ken will work harder than anyone else out there for you. Yes, because mine is going to be bigger. No, yes, I said if will. you want to shoot one bigger than Ralph's, Ken's the place to go. So if you're looking for That's the ultimate, that's why I go there. Oh yeah, okay. If you're looking for the <laughs> ultimate bear hunt, I'm telling you right now, Ken's got it. You ain't going. I'm calling Ken and I'm telling him you can't go this year. Our goal, our whole reason for doing this is to give a hunter, our guest, whether it's rifle or bow, an opportunity, a, a real opportunity at taking a big, big dominant bear or a big colored bear, and we've got that opportunities. Um, these bears have no fear of people. Um, they don't care who you are. You're on the food chain. And uh, if you want to hunt the real wild for real bears and big bears, that's what we're about. We sat here this morning, we sat from, well, from noon to four o'clock, they came, picked us up, we went home for dinner, came back, and what we've been having on this bait is a real young, like a small sow, and I mean, she's always here, and we got off the boat, and there was a bear on the bait, and we figured, ah, it's got to be her again, and we get off, and it, it looks like a really good boar is what it looks like. He's right there. I went here. My arrow went through him. I have no idea. I have instant blood here, though. Oh my god! Good job. Good job. Good job. Oh my awesome. gosh! Awesome. I'm almost. I'm, there's my arrow right there. Oh. you took his heart right out. Definitely. That, that's that. No, that's ex. That's my exit. Is it? That's my exit side. You hit him in the heart. So I. Oh. Look at, I don't even have my quiver, my shot. Oh, <laughs> look at this, look at this beast. Oh my gosh, his, oh, look at this. His canines are busted off, all chipped. This is an old bruiser. He's got a huge scar on his face. 
Look at the size on his head. He's got the old melon. Oh head. my god, he's got a good melon head on him. <laughs> the size of his head. Hey, hold it up. Oh Look at the size of this hog. <laughs> now this is hunt bear hunting at its best. We're up here with ganglers, Canadians, so we're out of hunting. And let me tell you something. We've been going to different stands. We've had all different kind of colors. And you know me, I just have a problem. Big black bears come in. I don't know why for me, but they do. And <laughs> what happened was Ralph stayed on the ground. Kip stayed right behind him, right by the boat. I climbed up in the ladder stand that got set up real quickly. <laughs> I got up in the stand. Yeah, I, I got up in the stand and <laughs> that's the end of the story. <laughs> I shot him. He didn't go as far as I shot him for. He didn't go 15 yards. Oh, Obviously, well, well. I must have double lunged him and maybe a little hard or hard. something. Because, yeah. I mean, he went down fast. Look at the size of this bear. We're up with Canadian subarctic hunting with Ken Gangler and Kip and Dean, our guide. And what an awesome hunt. Oh. Wow. It can't get much better than this. <laughs> nope, I don't believe it can. I can't hold his head up anymore. <laughs> my wife helping me. I can't tell you what this hunt has been from weather, from everything has just kicked our butt. Spitfires, baby. Beaming Max 4. Oh, he ran right through here. There's his trail, right here. There's a bear. Oh, baby. Oh, Vic. Vicky. That's a bucket head. Holy cow.